Oh! Oh, that sucked. Oh, get away from the cliff! Oh, no! Welcome back to another episode of Saturday Afternoon Gaming. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we are hopping into the side-scrolling beat-em-up classic. One of the best Sega Genesis games ever, in my opinion. And that game, of course, is Golden Axe from good old 1989. Um, and here we're getting this opening vignette where we're getting to see how to play the game. Um, as you can see, this is going to be a game where you get to beat people up, you get to ride on weird animals, there are big dudes laughing at you in the background with sledgehammers, guys flying across the screen, kicking you in the face. This is a game that uh, all kids knew uh, in the like 90s. It was one of the best Sega Genesis games, as I say. It was a game where basically you beat guys up, guys who make baby noises when they die, so when these guys die, they'll make like a baby scream. Oh, they, they're just frozen in, uh, in mid-air. Uh, okay, hold on. Axe Battler the Barbarian. His mother was killed by the Black Adder. All right, we're getting some backstory here. Maybe we should, we should actually watch the backstory for each of these characters, because I actually did, did not know um, that, that barbarian dude, that was his name. So you can also be a scantily clad woman, as you can see here, riding around in a bikini as, a uh, ferocious female combatants were will to do back in the Middle Ages. Um, it does not look like her, her sort of bikini there would offer him much coverage, but I guess it is armored. Um, so this is Tyrus equals Flair, the Amazon. Her father and mother were killed by the Death Adder. Okay, so she has even more claim to be upset than the dude. And here's my personal favorite, the dwarf, beating up some skeletons because dwarves... Oh, that one skeleton just like <laughs> fell to his doom. I guess skeletons aren't too bright. Anyway, this is the game where you beat guys up who make baby noises when they die, you ride animals, and you kick stupid little thieves. So we're getting to a taste of all the different characters here. This is Gilius Thunderhead. His brother was killed by the Death Adder. So apparently to join the Golden Axe team, someone you know has to have been killed by the Death Adder. Um, so um, this is, by the way, a game that you can play with two players, which is very common to do. I'm just going to be playing it through by myself. Before we go to play, we're going to hop into the options here. You have the option of turning your life meter up, so meaning you can take more hits in this game. I'm 100% going to do that. The other thing that I noticed that was kind of funny in this menu that I checked out before I started making the videos, there's a sound test here. And this is very common in old video games. Like, look, you can like listen to uh, whatever tune you want. So, like, music from any level. The game over music, if that suits you. Or the thief theme. You can also go over... You can fade out the music. You can listen to every sound effect in the game. So, if there's, like, a particular, like, thump that you like, you can go find it. And you can just, like, yeah. Yeah. Like, listen to it over and over again. You can also hear the voices. So, that's the baby noise that the dude makes when he cry when he dies. This is the woman screaming. So there's only male and female death voices, and it's a baby or a woman. Um, very odd choices, I, I think. But uh, you know what's weird? So many old games had this sound test. Why did they have a sound test? Was there, like, a huge demand for people to hear, like, the individual sound effects from a game? And they're like, yo, one feature we cannot leave out is the sound test. People depend on that thing, you know? I mean, I kind of get it for the music back in the day, because, like, you couldn't go on YouTube and just listen to songs. So I get it, you know, if a game has music you like, that'd be kind of a nice feature to listen to. But why all the individual sounds? It really doesn't make a lot of sense. If somebody out there could answer me as to why sound tests were in-game, I'm so curious. But they seem to be in, like, every game of, like, the 80s and 90s. It's really weird. Except Mario games, they never had sound tests. Anyway, enough hanging around on the title screen. Let's get into this game. So you can be the woman, the man, or the dwarf. I was always the dwarf. I don't know why, but dwarfs just seem cooler. He's shorter and stronger, and I love that bad lack. So we're gonna go ahead and choose my favorite character, the dwarf. If I die, I'll switch it up. I'll change to different characters. But let's be honest, I'm not gonna die. Death Adder invaded the castle and has taken the king and princess prisoners. Okay, so they're giving us, they're laying even more motivation onto this because he already had his brother killed. My good friend Alex was also killed in the battle to defeat them. And to bring peace to land is my duty. Yes, it is. Off to have duty. Oh, okay. So here are the dudes. Um, and we all, we just like picked that guy up and threw him. I forgot he could do that. Oh, and I was like beating him with like the butt of my axe. 
So, uh, this game is basically like Final Fight or Double Dragon. You do not want to let guys, like, get on both sides of you because then you're in the danger zone. So the simple trick is to just sort of, like, uh, try and, like, oh, pff, not do that. Not get not get drop kicked in the face. Um, but to sort of, I mean, this is actually a good strategy, sort of uh, just keeping them on opposite ends of the screen. But if you can get them on the same side, then you can just sort of, like, do this. I also really love this animation. He does, like, a sideways slash, and it looks like... Like, anything 180 degrees in front of this guy is just going to be sliced to pieces by that axe. Oh, here's the thieves. The thieves are, like, one of the most iconic part of Golden Axe. We can, like, kick him in the butt. The thieves will give you, uh, like, potions. So I have potions up there. If I use my magic, I'm now at level 2 magic. One more potion will bump me up to level 3. I'll be honest with you guys. To this day, I do not understand... Oh, God. I like how they laugh at me when I get knocked down. To this day, I do not know the difference between the different magic levels. It's not like, like, like I think it's just they just get more powerful. So it's like the higher the magic, the more powerful it is. The dwarf, I think, has the best attack, but he has the weakest magic. The girl, on the other hand, I think has the, the worst attack, but the most powerful magic. So there we go. I magicked out. Um, so I can't get any more of these potions. That's okay. But again, I to this day, like, I don't know the difference between a level 1, a level 2, and a level 3. I never use these potions except, like, in dire circumstances. Usually, like, when you're at a boss. Oh, my weird animal ran away. Whatever the hell that thing was. It was like a bird lizard. Um, here's another pro tip in Golden Axe. The, uh, the body shots are where it's at. Oh, I love how you can just pick guys up and chuck them. <laughs> and again, listen to those baby noises. I'm fighting man babies. Uh, we are at Turtle Village, I guess. I love I love that these guys sound like babies when they die. It just it's just awesome. All right. So those two big guys are just gonna sit there laughing at the funniest joke they heard early in the break room today. They will not fight me until I beat up these two guys. So to make my life easier, I'm gonna like take these guys down first before I try and fight these big guys. All right, here we go. Let's do it, big fellas. Here, magic time! I just threw potions in the air and it summoned lightning bolts that like zoomed right on top of them. Oh my god. Alright. Oh god, he hit me in the face with a sledgehammer. That, that hurt. Oh my god. Okay. Let's uh, try and separate them out here. Alright, that worked. Do, do, do. Like hit him in the back of the neck with my axe. Hey, oh, oh, I dodged your attack, buddy. How do you like that? Cry like a baby. I <laughs> like a baby. Okay, here's where thieves come and take your stuff usually, but I have nothing. So he's like, hey, I was here to rob you. And I was like, psych! Now you are the one who's getting robbed! I robbed the robbers, guys. And then you always go and try and stand in the fire. Our sworn enemy, Death Adder, is in his castle. We'll take a shortcut through the Turtle Village. Sounds good to me. Is that an effective shortcut? I don't even know. Wherever Turtle Village is, I guess it's on the way to an evil castle. I like how they, they color these guys differently, so it feels like you're not just beating up the same guy. Although, like, realistically, they're just changing the color of his clothes, mainly. So it could just be him getting beaten up and then, uh, and then being like, well, my lucky armor is failing me, I'll go try my red shirt. And be like, nope, I get beat up just as bad in the red shirt. Um, also, this guy kind of looks like a, like a goblin or something, but the other guy... Hold on, the other guy that I beat up first... We'll see another copy of him soon. But he kind of looks like... Okay, the guy on the right. He just looks like a mustachioed, like, bare-chested fella. Oh, God. <laughs> and he is angry. <laughs> yeah! This is what you want to do. Oh, yeah, just one on top of the other. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, that's how you do it. But, yeah, he's just like a bare-chested must. Look at him. I feel like he should be at a dance club, like at a rave or something. You know, I will say that... They, oh, here's some villagers. You always try and kill them. I remember trying to kill them as a kid. You never could. Um, they make the, the female hero in this game very scantily clad. And even these girls are kind of in bikinis. But at least they make this mustachioed dude, this, like, handlebar mustache guy. Oh, God. I'm trying to, like, keep the dragon because it's so powerful. At least they make him also, like, bare chest. Like, he's also fighting in his underwear. He's, he's kind of, like, conanning it up. So, uh, one of the inspirations for this game, probably does not surprise you at all, is Conan the Barbarian. And Conan, of course, is Arnold Schwarzenegger in a loincloth. Um, and... Yeah, so I guess maybe the handlebar mustache guy, they were taking, like, inspiration from Conan or whatever. I've actually never seen Conan the Barbarian, if you can believe it. Uh, man, I remember those thieves were so tricky as a kid, but, like, I'm having a really easy time getting them. Also, these levels are super short. I've beaten up, like, five guys and I'm at the boss already. I guess I will take it. 
Come on. Oh, she's getting sliced like crazy. Oh, man, she's not going to be able to have children. I just, like, sliced her belly up bad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I'm a huge I'm a huge Arnold fan, but I've never seen just just never never seen Conan. I don't know why. I feel like like I was a kid in the '80s, so it was probably just a little too adult for me when it came out. Oh god, there's a skeleton in the mix. Okay, hold on. Let's try and get this. Oh jeez. Okay, let's try and get this. And boom. Ugh. I need to keep the dragon. Okay, here we go. This is in service of getting that dragon. I don't, I, I really want to get this dragon because he can shoot fireballs. Oh, you son of, <laughs> I thought, I thought there was someone alive on the other side. Oh, and that's it. Okay, so didn't even need the dragon. Damn it, I really want to use the dragon and stuff. Okay, so the green thief, he gives you meat and the meat heals you, the healing power of meat. I'm pretty much at full health, so I'm just going to save that meat for a second. Get over here, get over here, give me all your little things. I will also eat the meat for fun, because why not? Thank you for bringing me a tasty s snack. Normally, if you have... Whoa. The village was on the back of a giant turtle. The turtle takes us south across the sea. Uh, okay. Um, random, but okay. Building villages on the back of turtles now. Guess that's a thing. Um, if you do have magic, by the way, by the time you end a level, the thieves will come and take your little uh, magic pills, and then like you have, you not only have to attack them to get more magic, you first have to attack them just to get your magic back. So I'm actually playing it smart and using my magic at the very end of the stage, so that there's nothing for the thieves to steal. Basically, basically a good way of not being mugged is have no money. That's, that's the gaming J way. If you don't want to get mugged in Vegas, lose all your money at a casino. It's a brilliant strategy, um, sort of. Okay, here's like a really annoying part of the game. I remember as a kid, like half the time you go to jump this gap, you die. Hey look, there's a turtle's head down there, by the way. You have to be on the top here, because see how the gap is smaller? And you have to, oh God, go for it like that. And I almost died, but I did not. Get over here, man, I have a dragon. I like, can't hit the thief. There we go. Can can you can you die already? <laughs> there we go. Oh, there's still more. This is the worst thief ever. He just wants to like hang around till I rob him. That is that is not how you thief, man. All right. See now the the bottom one's just gonna continue to laugh while I beat up her friend. The joke was so funny that she heard that she didn't even realize that I'm like attacking her partner. But I will take it. So normally, having this dragon, if you have two players, one person can, like, guard Deb. What the hell's Deb? <laughs> Seriously, what is Deb? <laughs> but anyway, normally if you have uh, the dragon, one person can kind of guard the dragon, while the other person, uh, like, uses the dragon to cause a whole bunch of damage. But if you don't have the dragon, you can just do this. Your body shots are enough. Oh, man. He found that funny. Haha, -ha, you'll never, you'll never get me. I'll just body shot you until the end of time. <laughs> Man, these body shots are so effective. Oh, and if you time it right, even if they're trying to body shot you, you'll hit them. I definitely remember this being like the way you have to beat this game. There's no honor among dwarves who are fighting against someone who may have killed their brother and also kidnapped a princess. I don't even know. Who's this black adder guy? Why is he causing so much trouble? It's like... They're just laying it on. Like, it could just be that he's not as bad as we think, but there's, like, a lot of propaganda out there about him. You know, like, who knows? Because, like, like, what's next? Are they going to say he, like, killed all the dragons? And, like, I don't know. He shut down all the dance clubs. He He's, you know, Robin Deb, whatever. I think Deb is the name of that bar. It's, like, Deb's, Deb's Tavern. Come on over to Deb's Tavern. We'll get you drunk. Oh, God. <laughs> Like, try not to end up between these guys, but they're, like, making it really difficult. Can you guys stop it? Here. Get you and you. Get you on different sides. You guys want to be on different sides? You, uh, I will indulge you. Cry like a baby. So what was, what was the thinking with the, like, baby crying? You know, like, what, who? Okay, so if you actually go and look up the sound effect for when these guys die, it isn't actually a baby crying. But, um, I remember this guy, if you don't, like, body shot him, he's actually pretty tough here. I'll try and get in there and, like, do an attack on him. Let's see if I can. Oh! <laughs> Did not get close enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Oh, there we go. Okay, so like, yeah, he hits you with that big sword, does a lot of damage. It's easier just to do this to him. And if you look at the sound effect when these guys die, it is not actually a baby crying. I think it is a sound effect actually from Conan, but it's been digitized so heavily because uh, it was this was on the Sega Genesis that it like comes out like a baby crying. And like, even if you know that it's not really a baby crying, like. What tester was was playing this and was like, oh, that does not sound like a baby. Let's just ship it as is. Like, it, it instantly sounds like a baby to me. I don't care what you were intending. That is a baby. And those green thieves are really helpful. These guys should not be called thieves. They should be called little pansies or something that you mug because you're the one robbing them. They're the worst thieves ever. <laughs> We've gone in close to the vicinity of the castle, but the way is blocked by enemy lines. We must dare the fiend's path to reach the castle. I wonder why it's called the Fiend's Path. Probably because there are many fiends, many fiends and foes on this path. But I'm willing to take this chance. I'm desperate. Hyah! Oh god, I don't want to be in the middle of that. <laughs> I'm a smart enough dwarf to know never get caught between three angry monster dudes. Oh no! Here, let's let's see if I can like hop up here. I'll make them come to me. Yeah! Oh, that guy, like, fell two stories. Oh, this is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Come and fall to your death. Oh, I love... I love how he just falls so far. That's awesome. Yeah! I love when that guy's falling, because he's sort of, like... He's, like, on his side, and his, like, face is gonna hit the pavement. You know it. Like, on his chest. <laughs> he's gonna land on his chest. Come on, buddy. Also, his weapon is, like, a bouquet of flowers. Look at that. It's, like, some roses. Get out of here. Maybe we can, like, speed this up. Just do this. Alright, we got him. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try and save my magic uh, past the end of this next boss so that we can actually see some thieves actually steal something. Because I feel bad. I, I just want to see the thieves in action again. They're supposed to steal stuff, but they, they're really bad at it. I gotta... I, I'm legitimately... Like, trying to figure out how to help out the thieves. Alright, so skeletons are now rising from the dead. You guys got, like, a living dead infestation here. I don't know. I don't know who does your gardening, but they're, uh... They're getting lax. You guys need bone off. The, uh... It's like a weed thing. Kills skeletons right in the ground, dead. Keeps them from... Keeps your ancestors from reviving from the dead. Needlessly. Oh, you jerk. Alright, come on. Get up here. Let's fight the old-fashioned way. Like that. <laughs> Alright, here's another quote unquote thief. Hey, get over here. Huh. Huh. Thank you. See ya. Thanks for bringing these into battle for me. Hey. Oh, this guy just faded in out of nothing. It's the shadow of the muscly, handlebarred, mustache, mustachioed man that we've been fighting. It's like the shadow link, only of like a dude from like a. Um, I don't know. Like a dance club? Like, like he belongs in a dance club. I'm just gonna say it. <laughs> Or, like, spring break or something. Get out of here! Ugh. I, these levels are definitely shorter than I remember. I kind of remember them being a little more, but, um, you know, putting it in context. Again, this was on the Sega Genesis. And by the way, like, the graphics and the sound and the gameplay and stuff, this was all, like, more advanced than you could get on the NES. I mean, not to say that, actually, the gameplay is, is not necessarily that much different from the NES. But, I mean, definitely looking at these graphics, you know, compared to, like, Double Dragon or River City Ransom, and, like, this was, like, no contest. This was hands down better than the NES. So I definitely remember as a kid, like, how cool this looked and how impressive it was. Uh, is there any boss, by the way, that I'm going to fight here? Just uh, more of these guys? I'm, like, nothing. Oh, no, no, no! Oh, they're, they're slicing me up bad! Oh, man, okay, don't use the magic. I'm trying to save that for the thieves. I could kill you guys with magic, but I'm saving it for some dudes who are going to rob me later tonight. Sounds weird, trust me, but, uh... No, 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 God! <laughs> that is not a good strategy. Get out of here. Oh, my God. Don't die, don't die. Oh, my God. Okay, being up... Intentionally putting yourself in a corner is not a good strategy. Oh, God. I think these are, like, the skeletons of me. This like, a past dwarf who made it to this level. Because they are, they are actually pretty formidable. Oh, thank God. I thought I was going to die. I only had one health bar. Look! And so he's going to... I'm just sitting there by the fire looking at my magic. And I'm like, you son of a bitch! Get back over here! Give me my magic! 
Give me my magic, little guy. And give me your magic, too. I'll take it all. Alright, I, I should have used the magic on him, actually. That would have been pretty... That would have been ironic. Alright. What is in these potion bottles that you can just, like, throw them into the air and they will, like, summon lightning? I don't, I don't know. The Fiend's Path was a great eagle. We are taken across the skies to the castle. We gotta stop accidentally climbing on giant animals. First a turtle, now an eagle. What is the castle? Like a, a giant bug or something? Like, look, it's so obviously an eagle. Oh, oh God. Okay, I remember this from the opening, uh, the opening video. Let's, oh, two, two of the, three of the guys fell off the cliff. Two of the three guys voluntarily fell off the cliff. And one guy we sent for a ride. I, I will take it. All right, we are low on health. I do not know if we're gonna be able to beat this. We might have to continue. If if so, we will switch. I think we'll switch to the girl so that we can see, well, see a girl in a bikini, which is not bad. That's that's a reason in and of itself. But also so we can see like what happens when you get like a lot of magic. Oh god, these guys. Oh no 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 no! Damn it! Do I have one more? Do I have one more life? Ah, okay. Continue. Yes. Oh, I did not want to continue as this guy. I did not want to continue. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna let these guys. All right, guys, your dream has come true. I'm not gonna fight it. Kill me. Just make it quick. Man, even when you just stand here, that one guy can't even hit you. <laughs> Look, he's flailing. He's like, oh my god, I can't believe it. This is the happiest day of my life. I just gotta hit him. And he's like, why can't I hit you? He's like the worst henchman ever. It's gonna take a while for these guys to actually kill me. <laughs> Damn, I wish this had happened back at the bridge so I could have just intentionally like walked off to my doom. I gotta let the dragon guy hit me because he does the real damage. The other guy, the other guy doesn't know what the hell's going on. You know, one problem these enemies don't have is that they can't hit each other. I know that definitely when you played this game as co-op, one of the big things you had to watch out for is when you're playing two players at once, you could actually hit the other player and like kill them, so... Uh, I don't think there was a mode to turn that off, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe there was, but me definitely remember getting in fights with, like, my brother and stuff when there's, like, two of us playing. Because, <laughs> like, if you're not careful, you will totally kill your ally. Also, I don't know if I have limited continues, so this might be a really stupid move, but we're doing it anyway, guys. We like to live on the edge. The edge of the golden axe. All right, it's about to happen. If these, if these two numb skulls can get it together enough to kill a completely defenseless dwarf. I'm not trying at all. Look, that one guy still can't hit me. He's the dumbest henchman ever. <laughs> it's so bad. He is so bad. Okay. Oh, there's no way to switch. All right, well, we just wasted a continue for absolutely no reason. Okay, well, don't I feel stupid. All right, now I'm gonna kill you. This is how you kill someone, dude. Look how easy it is. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. No! <laughs> ah, screw it. <laughs> Get out of here. I want that dragon and there's too many of you. You annoy me. There'll be another thief. I'll get I'll get more stuff. I'm not worried about it. Oh, there's two of these guys. Alright. This one guy is really trying to get behind me. Alright, this. This is an arrangement that I can live with. So yeah, I guess they, they like really want to get on two sides of you in this game, the AI. But actually, like if you can headbutt them like back and forth, then you're totally fine. You can also use this strategy if you have the dragon. And like, look how easy this is. Is this like a boss fight? I'm like itching my nose while I play. Oh, yep, yeah, that was a boss fight, apparently. Or, wait, is this like the last boss? Oh look, we're getting a refill. Oh look at all the thieves! It's a cornucopia, it's a feast of thieves! A feast of thieves, come here, come here, feed me, feed me. Oh, I'm like maxed out on magic. There's, okay, I'm just gonna like do this. Maybe I won't even pick those up, cause like, what's the point? I'll just like save them. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this might even be the last fight of the entire game. Okay. Yes! Oh, <laughs> kicked in the back of the head. You son of a... It must, we must be in like a really hot climate zone because everyone is like... No, nobody is dressed appropriately. Everyone's like half naked. So may, maybe the, the girl character is not... You know what, actually? 
The girl character, like, I made fun of her being in a bikini, but, like, the dwarf is the most heavily dressed character. The barbarian, he's in his underpants. And, like, all these other characters are in their underpants. It's just, like, a big bikini fest over here in, like, Golden Axe land. It's, like, everyone's so muscly and hot, but they just, they can't abide regular clothes. It's underwear and undergarments for everyone. All right, is this the Black Adder? Oh, there he is. All right, so let's do this first. And then I saved a couple more of these. <laughs> He's like, oh god, what the hell was that? And then instantly it's like more. He like came out to fight me and he's like, oh, what the hell is happening? Oh god. Oh god. I can't believe that didn't that, that did not kill the skeletons. Oh no, oh no, oh god! <laughs> okay. I thought it was gonna be an easy fight once I got these skeletons out of the way, but they are not dying, and he does not want to be. This guy's being, like, elusive. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. <laughs> that skeleton kicked my ass. All right, here we go. I just got to, like, get into, like, good head button rhythm with this guy, and... Come here. Come here. Yes, yes, you like that? Does he have the golden axe, by the way? I'm pretty sure he has the golden axe. Oh, God, ow. He's, like... He, he's he's one like me. Hey, what the heck? You're not allowed to have magic. Only I get to have magic, dude. Come here. He's like so useless. As far as final bosses go, this guy's actually pretty easy. Oh, and, and as I say that, he like almost kills me. Boom. I think you can just do this. He like can't get out of it. So headbutts, it turns out, are the most powerful weapon in the land. Or not headbutts, like a body check or something. Man, my shoulder's gonna kill me tomorrow. Look, he's like just hitting him right. He's full speed running into someone, hitting them with your shoulder. Imagine doing that. Imagine like, oh, he has like a manly scream. That was not a baby scream. That was a man scream. Hey, look, and there's like a king and princess. Oh, okay, so we beat it. There you go. Um, oh, that, look at that feeble king. Uh, accept my utmost gratitude for our rescue. I will. I thank you for your courage, and you have rid us of the hideous Death Adder. But I have a feeling that he might have been taking orders. <gasps> Sometimes he did disappear into that door. Will you go in and battle for me yet once more? Yes, my lord. Wait, was that the princess or the the king talking? <laughs> also, I like how they're like he used to disappear in that door. What if it's just like a washroom or like an office? Like sometimes he's in there. Who knows? Like, you can't just assume there's, like, a big giant dungeon. Oh, that's so satisfying. I love knocking these guys off cliffs. Let's let's just... Oh, he didn't go. Oh, he still didn't go. Oh, this... I want this guy to go off a cliff and die. Fall into a giant pit. There we go. Oh, damn it, I followed him. Oh, that sucked. Oh, my God. Oh, no! Oh, get away from the cliff! Oh my god, you see- Oh no! Oh, it's all falling apart! Oh my god! Okay, we only have one life left, guys. Oh, good thing the skeletons are, like, killing themselves. Okay. This is, like, dangerous to be here, but- Oh! Holy crap, I almost, like, ran off the edge. Alright. My palms are sweaty now. Man, we accidentally, like, put ourselves into, like, one life territory. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Man, if, if I mess up too much more, we're dead. We're dead. No. Okay, we need these thieves. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, I can't be here. Oh my God. Like this game just got real all of a sudden. Okay. Oh my God. Don't damage me. Yeah. <sighs> okay. I think we can just like axe this guy down. Oh my God. Look at all this magic, man. If we had the girl, she would be, like, maxed out. Okay, I think we do have to, like, try the girl after this. We'll just try, like, the first level or two until we get max magic and see what it does. Whoa. Hey, look at that statue. It's like a pig man from uh, Star Wars from Return of the Jedi from Jabba's Palace. Oh, look. What the heck? Look at all these, like, awesome bad guys. <laughs> the skeleton falls to his doom again. Of course he does. Like, why didn't we get to fight a pig man or, like... Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> They're all just like falling to their death. This is awesome. Why didn't we get to fight a pig man or like that other 
dude there. Okay, let's see if we can, like... Oh, son of a bitch. Cheese these guys. Uh... Okay, we got one. Oh my god, my health is so low. One life. I don't think I have any continues left either. <laughs> okay, we got that. Oh, so there's still more. Palms are sweaty, guys. Oh, this it's the real bad guy. It's the black black adder. Okay, we we gotta magic him up at first. Soften him up. Then we gotta kill the skeletons ASAP, and then we just go into body check mode for this guy. Oh, sh son of a- Oh, he magic us when we're on the ground! Don't kill me, dude! Don't kill me! Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, oh, we landed on it! Oh, we're still alive! Oh, he summoned an entire dragon to breathe on us! Oh, no, did we underestimate this guy? Are we dead, dead? Is it done? Are we gone? Game over! Oh, oh, my, all my stuff fell. Oh, you know what sucks? If we hadn't dicked around and, like, if I hadn't intentionally lost a, a continue in the middle of the game, we totally would have had that. We totally would have had that. My score was a B. What? I wanted the A++. And that's not a real grade, A++. Oh, that sucks. We're so close. You guys think what I'm thinking? We're going back in as the girl. This game doesn't take that long. It's like 20 minutes. I can, I can be there in 15 if I put my mind to it. Hey, her friend Alex was also killed. Interesting. Oh, look at this puny attack. Oh! Oh, this works. Man, look how many potions she needs just to get to, like, level 2 and 3. It's ridiculous. I don't know what you are, little weird bird thing, but you do a hell of a lot of damage to these guys. If you leave this thing, it, like, lures them over there, and they, like, slowly approach it to try and get on, and you can, like, just whack them. Oh, shh. <laughs> All right. Well, so much for that plan. Now, let's just do this. Oh, she summons, like, weird fire ghosts. I like it. I'm pretty sure at max power, she summons that dragon we saw, too. Whoa! <laughs> bink, bink. I wonder if we could, like, knock these guys into the water. Oh, okay, yes you can. Man, look at this drop kick. It, like, she, like, flies across the screen. <laughs> I just poked her off. Well, there goes my dragon. I like how they're laughing about this one guy who's getting, like, his ass kicked by this, like, the, the woman. They're like, ah, Terry, you're useless in combat. Now we'll have to, we'll have to woman up and do this one. Oh, God, they are womaning up. Oh, my. All right. Hold on. Girls, this is ridiculously unfair. Get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, fireball to the face. Oh, I want this dragon on other levels, man. Can't believe those thieves were so difficult to uh, hit when I was a kid. I feel like they're like nothing now. You can kind of predict where they're going to go. And they sort of have a timer. They stand in place for like a, one second. So if you can't get to where they are, you just go to where they're not because they're likely to just run there next. It sounds confusing, but it makes more sense than it seems. Which also sounds confusing, but it also makes more sense than it seems. There we go. This is what I wanted. Right, another way to get over these gaps is to like do a, do that. Oh, he came out ready for, for a paddle. Uh, can you guys... Oh, pfft. I was going to say, can you get through an infinite spam of fire? And I guess you can. They're powerful. Oh, they killed me. Oh, God. Now you guys are screwed. I can't believe I lost a life, though. Give me all your crap. Can you guys, like, either get hit by my sword or, like, get off of me? Like, give me some breathing room here, dudes. The ancient dance of drop kicking guys from across the screen continues. It's like my one and only move. Oh, pff. oh, son of a bitch. You know what? Why am I saving this magic? Oh, there's your dragon for you. <laughs> I'm gonna get more magic by the time I get to the final boss. Why save it? Cause now, without your henchmen, turns out you're just a big slow man. I'm less concerned with the magic than I am with the health, because, like, there will be more magic, but health is, like, pretty essential to get between those stages. Also, I like how she just built a campfire in the middle of town. There was an inn literally ten feet away, but instead she decided to build a campfire right in the middle of town, because, hey, it's what you do. They were like, thanks for saving us, woman, but, uh, you can't sleep in here. It's kind of our policy. No freebies. Wee! Oh, oh, no, 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 no! 
Man, he's a lot harder to kill these guys than it was with the dwarf. He's like, gotta be like the dumbest henchman ever. They're like, why do I keep falling? I tried to jump up, but I wake up on the ground. <laughs> Kablamo. Oh, oh, this skeleton's got some moves, eh? So my only goal is to beat this level with the one life I've got intact. If I can do that, then I'll be okay. I mean, even if I have to use a continue, it doesn't really matter, but like, when you are playing video games, if you're a gamer, you get into this thing of like, you know you're gonna have to continue, but like to get the most out of your continue, you're like, okay, I'm on my last life. If I can ju get, just get through one more level and then continue, it would be a lot better than wasting the continue on this level that I'm halfway through. Like it feels more efficient that way. Like you're at least getting some more use out of your life, so that's what we're gonna try and do. Oh, nice try, nice try. Yeah. Oh God. Ah. Yeah. Oh God. I'm okay. Oh. Oh. Are we gonna do it? Wait. Is there anyone to? Is this the boss? No. Shoot. There's other guys to fight. Ah. Oh, damn it. I guess these are like feathers that are flying through the air. If you notice right now. I mean, look at the background. We're clearly on the back of a giant bird. Oh, there's more. Okay. I never would have made this. Oh no 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 no! What the? Bug. Ah. Uh, two. Two health points. Are you kidding me? That is uncool, man. Man, the nice thing about, like, your dropkick is it can, like, hit m multiple field and two more health bars. Are you kidding me? Oh, my God. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you got more. Jesus. All right, give it over. Oh, hey, it turns out we're on a giant bird and it flew us somewhere. Good thing the bird happened to be going to the evil castle that we were on our way to. What are the odds? Our strategies are just knock us. Starting on this level, our, our strategies just knock guys off cliffs. Or burn them with a dragon also works. There's really two strategies here. Get away from my dragon! Dragony! Don't let them on you! Run away, Dragony! I'll take care of them! I'll find you wherever you are! He's like my Yoshi. Oh, 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 God! Oh, I'm in the middle! The middle is a bad place to be! <laughs> that is so not cool. Oh, oh, shoot. What am I gonna do here with these two guys? All right, we're in a good rhythm here. So we're doing well. We've made it back to the second last almost last level wait because there's one more after this and then after that then there's like a secret last level because you think you're fighting the final boss and then you save the king and realize that there's actually another boss so like we beat the black adder but then who's the other guy you know in the very last level we'll return to this question when we get to him but um, we're doing good so far we've only used one continue so we've lost four lives total because i've lost lost one life on this continue too which I didn't, because it turns out these guys are real easy. All right, we're now at the final, what seems like the final boss, but it's t definitely totally not. So as soon as the, the big final guy comes out, I'll, I'll use these. This kind of sounds like the music out of Dune 2, if you guys remember. If you go back and check out my Dune 2 video, this music is reminiscent of it. I feel like if you do not do drop kicks with this girl, I don't know how you beat the game, because like her, her sword legit sucks. Like, I know why I picked the dwarf, because he was the best in combat, man. The girl sucked. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hey oh, welcome to the party, baby! Dude, whatever. That was actually kinda awkward. Oh, we can't get that one. Oh, let's just give him everything we got. We summoned a bunch of okay, I'll take it. Fire stuff. We'll just like kick him until he's dead, I guess. It's uh Kind of a street way of fighting. You summon a bunch of fire guys, and then when the guy's down, you just sort of like curb stomp him until he's dead. <laughs> it's like as soon as he gets up, every time he gets up, there's like a boot to the throat just waiting for him. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Damn it. Man, this guy is like not giving up on life. How many times can you get kicked in the face by a girl before you just give up? Yeah, that's right, you stay down. All right, we have saved the king and princess yet again. Let's see if we can do this right this time, guys. So there's two things we have to remember. Don't fall off cliffs all needlessly. And that's actually, that's the big one. It's don't fall off cliffs needlessly. So this, this level is all about doing this and not being the person on the receiving end of that. No, you, you have to get down here so I can do it to you. Oh, you... you dig. Okay, I'll, I'll, I will take it. If it makes you feel better. Because now you're dead. <laughs> he just falls off to oblivion. Okay, let's try this. Here, drop kick our way across. That's more stylish anyway! No! And we're dead. 
Oh, are you kidding me? Do not kill me again that way, dude. That was so cheap. Just get in the pit. Just, oh, that guy just... He knew what was coming. He, he committed suicide. Oh, my God. Okay, he... Okay, I'll, I'll take it. If they want to voluntarily fall to their deaths, I will take it. Boom, boom, boom. All right, we are doing good. I love these, like, one-hit kills, if you can, like, line guys up correctly. Yes. And yes. Oh, she knows what's up. She even picked that guy up. Yeah. All right, this guy, he, he's wise. He's like, I am staying on the left at all costs. I know what happens to people who get on the right of you. They get knocked off a cliff, and that will not be me. All right, you want to play it smart? I will kill you the traditional way with a couple of kicks, a couple of well-placed kicks to your head. Your meat area, as we call it. All right. And, oh, damn it. He was the one guy I did not want to, like, knock off a cliff. Damn it. Uh, at least she went down doing a drop kick. Okay. Give me all the potions. Oh, God. I thought I would be maxed out. Uh, maybe if I didn't kick that one thief off the cliff, I would have been. Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, at least we didn't die. Yes. And, oh god! Oh, oh, he, he he checked himself off a cliff. Oh yeah, the old bob and weave. We just stand here and like uh, wait for them to like try and body check us and move, and they fall off the cliff. Oh, so, oh, I'm still alive. I am still alive. I will take it. Huh. Huh. Okay, we got one. All right, you know what's happening, buddy. You know it's coming. See ya! <laughs> yeah, the most noble way to win a fight. Just kick him off the ledge of a building. Man, I really wanted to be max magic here, but you know what? You win some, you lose some. We just summoned a wall of fire on this guy. Alright, now just do this to him, I guess. Oh, there's skeleton. Right, we gotta kill the skeletons first. Oh my god! The floor is on fire! Are you guys seeing this? Skeletons, you might be used to it, but like, I don't know, man. I haven't seen this kind of magic before. Also, where are we? K, see, look on his on his um, throne, it says K-I-E. What is that even? Oh my God, cheapest move ever, man. I am down. Can you give me like a second to get up before you summon a dragon to breathe fire on me? Boom, boom, boom. These, oh, that's like overkill, man. I'm down. You don't need to summon the dragon. I'm down and dead. Ah, son of a bitch! Man, these skeletons are vicious! But, like, he's not doing anything. I seem to have him, like, glitched out. Oh, God. But the skeletons kicked my ass! Ah, son of a bitch. Maybe these skeletons don't die. Maybe they're, like, invincible skeletons. Oh, my God. Oh my god. Oh my god, really? Oh my god, he just killed me. Oh man, I... Oh, Jesus. Okay, I'm done trying to kill the skeletons because I feel like they're totally not dying. We just gotta, like, work on him. Ugh. Oh, son of a bitch. I need, like, a player two here to, like, help, help me, like, manage these guys. There's too many of them. Frick. Okay, is that it? Is that it? I get one more right. No! Oh, God. Well, we tried, guys. Um, I'm pretty sure, like, I did a hell of a lot of damage to those skeletons. I am shocked that they did not go down. I'm almost positive that maybe you can't kill them. Maybe you can. Maybe I'm mistaken. But, man, that last fight is hard. All right, well, you know, we got as far as we could in Golden Axe here. Um, I had a pretty good time with it today. So Golden Axe is one of the classic Sega Genesis games out there, I think. If you guys have not tried Golden Axe, you definitely should. Um, as you see, it's like a short playthrough, but it's actually pretty fun. And especially if you have a friend, um, it can totally, totally be worth it. Um, actually, this brings up a good question of what your favorite retro co-op game is. I don't know if this would classify as my favorite, but it's definitely up there as a, as a really fun one. Um, and again, as I say, worth a play. Man, I can't believe those skeletons didn't die. 
Like, oh my god. Anyway, as I say, I had fun with this one today, guys. Thank you for checking out Golden Axe with me today. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, go ahead and like the video, subscribe to the channel. Um, for those of you who know, regularly I'm working my way through a book called Thousand One Games Just Play Before You Die, and that series will be returning very shortly. It's sort of been on hiatus over the uh, winter break, but uh, probably next week it will come back, and we'll continue our journey of trying different games on different systems, our old journey through retro games, many games like this. Golden Axe, surprisingly, is not in the book, which, again, I think is an omission. Um, I feel like the book, it gets some things right, but some things I just don't agree with, and I think it definitely there's some classic retro games missing, and so uh, my own attempt to try to complete my channel to add uh, my own takes on uh, retro games. I usually play games that are off the book occasionally, and uh, that's what you just experienced today. So surprise! That's what, that was what, <laughs> that's what was happening to you. Anyway, until next time, my friends, you take care of yourselves, and don't get caught in any battles with any evil skeletons that just won't die. Whoa, what the heck? You can do a roll attack? I, 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 to this day, I've known about this game for like 20 years. I didn't know you could do that. What the hell? Oh my god, well, you learn something new every day, I guess. Alright, guys, until next time. Peace. So, by the way, guys, I actually decided to go back in and give this warrior shot. And he also has a friend named Alex. I think it's all the same Alex. He's got this cool little spinny move, as you can see. Uh, if you press jump and attack at the same time, you do this move. And I thought I would play as this warrior guy and get to the Black Adder and beat him, like, off camera so I could show you. He has some cool um, kind of explosions, but this guy sucked. This guy was just... he was the worst, guys. He was okay at hitting thieves. But if you notice there, he was sucking, and he's got a spinny move. But he, like, sucks even for fighting, like, a single dude like this. Like, one guy can solo me. Bosses just, like, hit him like he's nothing. And look, a, a single skeleton not only kills him, um, but it kills him again. <laughs> like, I only got lucky there. That skeleton committed suicide, or that would have been the end of me. So I made it to these guys, and it was clear as not going to get any farther, so forget it. Back to the dwarf, and he's got his spinny move again. It's jump and attack at the same time. Hey oh has some good pizzazz to it. Um, the dwarf made good progress. There were a few funny moments, like when everyone was trying to like uh, body check each other. We're all missing. It's kind of funny with these guys. Also, did you know you can pick these guys up? Look at this. You can lift them up. That's crazy. So uh, yeah. Anyway, so I played through the game yet again with the dwarf. Uh, I'm just showing you guys the highlights. It made it to the end, obviously. Here's, like, me fighting the Shadow Stone Men, knocking these two guys off the cliff, and then on to the Black Adder. And I have confirmed, you cannot kill these skeletons. I don't know how you're supposed to do it. You can't kill them. You just have to avoid them. The best strategy I found for this dude is to literally kind of do this, is to just sort of go up and down, space the enemies out. They'll never hit you if you're just constantly going up and down. When you get a chance, you body check them. And then beyond that, it's just about dodging. Because there's no point in fighting the skeletons. They'll just wear you down over time. Anytime the Black Adder hits you, he will cast magic on you. So do not let him hit you. Uh, but eventually, you'll wear him down. Don't avoid those things. Um, if he hits you with one of those, go and attack him before he has a chance to cast other magic on you. But eventually, you kill him. And he's impaled by his own axe because he sucks. And uh, then you come back out, and the king and princess haven't moved an inch. They're just still sitting uh, right there waiting for you to kind of see uh, what happened. Thank you, Gallon One. Now the people will be able to live, to build, and to prosper in peace. You may be titled blah, 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 grand feast and stuff like that. Um, basically, we pass the game. Huzzah! So the game is passable. It's very, very, very hard, guys. That last guy, you, it's just about dodging. The stupid skeletons. Finally, you've defeated all the evil clan. The land shall revive uh, re revive in peace, and people will talk of your deeds. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, then we have the cast. We have a, uh, a uh, cast of characters, I guess. This part is actually pretty cool. I do remember this song from when I was a kid, so I must have beaten this game. But here we go, in case you were wondering what all those guys we fought were. In case you are wondering what their weights and heights were. Uh, this, is, this is they, I suppose. Uh, 178 pounds across the board for those guys. Um, I like how the like the bronze guys are obviously 267. They weigh more. But look, the shadow guy, his his weight is question mark. It's like ooh, we don't know what he weighs. Uh, and then we got the uh, long moan is the other guy. 
Uh, so, okay, that's that's his name. Uh, it's it's funny that they're giving you the height and weight of every character. Like, that, that was one thing I was not questioning while I was playing the game. I wasn't playing it like, hmm, I wonder what their actual heights are. It was just sort of like, okay, well... I mean, like, I don't know any other game that gives you, like, body measurements of people after you defeat them. Um, then you have Strachinia and Strabaya. Would not have guessed that those are their names. 133 pounds, so there you go. Um, and then Lemonaya and Gruzia. It's... I don't know. They're just palette swapped enemies, really. I mean, they're, they're, you know, I guess they're different people. They look identical. They look like clones to me. Those guys are the worst of the whole game, though. I freaking hate the skeletons. 89 pounds of pure frustration. The freaking skeletons, man. Beware if you play this game. The skeletons will frustrate you. Um, then we got the bad bros. 680. Is that combined or individually? Because combined, no human should weigh 680 pounds in the Lieutenant Biter. Um, I guess he's a biter, that's why they keep him in a helmet. And he got a, he got a promotion, too. He's Colonel Biter. And then the bros turn into Sergeant Malt and Sergeant Hop. I, is that a joke or something? I, if it is, I don't get it. Um, General Heartland. Uh, he also weighs 680 pounds. I'm going to say the 680 is per individual, uh, which is a lot. Cause, like, General Biter is in full plate mail, and he only weighs 271. Uh, that little chicken thing is called Chicken Leg, that bird creature. And its speciality is its wagging tail. 756 pounds! Holy crap! That's insane. That's insane. Then we have the blue and the red dragons. They're still giving us weights. This is like, oh look, it's a thousand pound. Okay, impressive, I, I suppose. I don't know how much a dragon's supposed to weigh. A thousand pounds, is that a lot? I mean, that's like a ton, isn't it? You have the blue thieves. The green thieves. Their belongings are pot and meat. <laughs> Yo, those are some cool thieves. Um, what is this? We're getting, like, measurements of the villagers? Uh, like, even the background characters. Did they weigh all the characters before they decided to put this game together? Um, okay. And then here's Death Adder Jr. Um, I think he was the one... Was he the one that we fought? I think so. I think that's the fake one. And then you fight the real one. The Death Adder. That's the dude. Um... Yeah, he weighs the same as his son. So I guess we killed his son, and then he wanted vengeance on us. Or something like that. Um, who's left? The Wait. Wait. No, wait. This is the, the Death Bringer. Wait, who's the Death Adder? Did we even fight the Death Adder? Oh, maybe that's only on easy. So maybe we didn't even see the Death Adder Jr. So um, here are our guys. Um, 200 pounds for the Axe Battler. <laughs> Tyrus Flair. Wait, question mark. She's a lady, guys. She doesn't like to just reveal her her weight. And the dwarf was 151, I think. Oh, the king and the princess are spared body measurements. Um, I guess when you are the king of all the land, you get to call the shots. You're like, nobody's measuring me. In fact, they still haven't moved. They're still just lying in that hallway trying to recover. Uh, then we get to this section, which is kind of amusing. The characters play baseball with the credits. And this goes on for a long time, by the way. I'm going to edit it here in just a moment, but it's like literally 10 minutes of this going on. The other two characters are bored. It's taking so long. So, uh, yeah, I jumped ahead about like 30 credits there right to the end. And after presented by Sega, then the Axe Battler and Tyrus Flame, they get up and they summon the end screen. So we have done it, guys. Ta-da! You have officially now seen the end of Golden Axe. Which means now you gotta get out there and play it. And by the way, after all that work, I still only earned an A. That is astonishing. That is astonishing, if you catch my drift. So I don't know what it takes to get an A++, but it is a challenge to you guys. You've seen how to play the game. Now go make me proud. Until next time, guys. Peace.